let the peace love and blessings of Jehovah God and his Christ be upon the entire world in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen God is omnipresent and supreme everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth leader Olumba Olumba Abu the supernatural teacher First lesson, John chapter 14, verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Second lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 21 to 22. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Golden text. Matthew chapter 16 verse 21. From that time forth began Jesus to show who his disciples, to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Quote, Brethren, the subject of our revelation this morning is going to determine your stand with God as a dwelling spirit within you. It is because of sin that if you call on God asking for help or anything and when such requirement is not forthcoming you feel that there is no God in existence. Man should know that God is dwelling in all things. Whatever you do is known to him since he is the only judge for both the living and the dead. The scripture says, The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears hearken unto their call, but God turns away from the evil door. Many people seem to console themselves with the statement that, God help those who help themselves. In what manner do you want to help yourself? Is it the correct way? The law of God says, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. But now the whole world turn and put their faith in medicines, in juju, in secret powers and such the like. And by so doing, problems arise all over. When Moses went to collect the law, as was ordered, the Israelites whom he conveyed out from the land of Egypt felt that they were without a leader in their resting site in the wilderness because Moses was at the mount longer than they expected and because they had no faith in their true God as the only Savior who led them out of Egypt, they became impatient and concluded that Moses might have died on his way to the mountain to receive the commandments. They then lost their faith in God and demanded Aaron to make another God for them who would lead them to the promised land. Aaron collected their gold ornaments and made this into a calf 
which they worshipped as God. It was because of this act that God deserted them immediately since they had turned to a graven image, a man-made God. It was also through this action that they faced various tribulations and died in thousands in the wilderness. From this act of God, you can realize that the children of Israel were punished, not for any other thing, but that they ignored the true God who was the leading spirit. God also deserted them and they suffered. Therefore, no matter what you are, the very moment you possess anything, no matter how tiny it may be, as sort of prevention, God deserts you and you must be tormented by angels. Our Lord Jesus Christ was the last sacrifice for the redemption of mankind. There is no more sacrifice of animals or of worshipping of idols which only leads you into darkness. And if you do this, it means you have disregarded the sacrifice of the Holy Blood of Christ. The only sacrifice acceptable to God is forsaking of sins. In addition to the greatest commandment that love ye one another even as Christ loved you. There is only one judge. If your brother or sister offends you, do not pass any judgment on him or her. Keep no malice and pick no quarrel with anyone. Never judge anybody. Leave judgment to God. Your duty is to love all. Since God is dwelling in you, surrender everything to Him. Converse with Him in secret through prayer. And He is ever ready to solve all your problems. If anyone tells you that Jesus Christ is white or black, a child or an old bearded man, believe him not because Christ does not conform to any particular object. Many people out of ignorance attribute the knocking of head on the ground as practiced in the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star to another form of worship. But they forget that God says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. That was in John chapter 4 verse 23. From this expression, you will come to the understanding that it is brotherhood of the cross and star alone that worship him in spirit and in truth. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, John chapter 14 verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Brethren, this is a lasting promise from God that they that honor him shall be comforted as promised. Remember what is written in the law. Ye are God's children. And there is another provision that ye shall die like him. If anyone says man is not God, it means he has not yet received the Holy Spirit and cannot realize that God has his selected children. This must be made manifest to you so that you might not be ignorant because Christ is the Son of Man 
the Son of God and also God. Immediately you remember that he is ready to help you and call upon him as supreme God and Father, he will certainly come to your rescue. Let our second lesson be read again. Second lesson. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 20 to 21. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Brethren, from the above passage, are you convinced to believe that God raised up our Lord Jesus Christ on the third day? Why then do you pray and wait that until Christ comes again? Then you will do this or that. You have seen your nakedness because he is living among men as at now. Our Lord Jesus Christ professed that I and my Father are one. Therefore, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God in Trinity, is here on earth working. From your daily observation, you are conscious about his presence. But if you are asked, what is your real fate in coming to brotherhood, you feel very uneasy and cannot give reasonable answer. Then there may arise another question as to whether your wealth comes as a result of your being a member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. And in reply, at times, you give them no tangible answer. Of course, this is not what one can boast of. It is the fate which is the resurrection from the dead. The time is at hand when all that hear his voice shall rise together and with the living, they that did good shall have eternal joy, while they that practice wickedness will have their place in hellfire. The world is now witnessing tribulations, sorrows, sicknesses, and all forms of troubles. This is only a shadow of what is to come, and the unbelievers will lament greatly. Give due recognition to God. Brethren, no matter your position, if you profess to be the founder of many churches or that you occupy the highest position, if you are the only intellectual in the world or have reached or obtained the highest degree as a binger, unless you refrain from sin and accept God and His Christ, you will face more tribulations and cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Now listen to this reference carefully. When our Lord Jesus Christ was in that boat with his disciples, he lay as though he was asleep and when the storms arose, the disciples started to get scared. When they waited on him for help, he did nothing. But immediately they shouted at him, Lord, Lord, we perish, help us. He stood up and rebuked the wind. And that order, the billows subsided. What does this signify? Our oh Lord Jesus Christ is here among you. And he is in each and every one of you. But you keep him waiting at the hem of the ship, your heart. And you 
do go about seeking for help, consulting juju priests, witch doctors, and those you regard as experts in secret societies, the Lord and Savior remains calm and allow you to roam about until you come to your wit's end. Anytime you remember that he is there waiting for to aid and call upon him, he will undoubtedly rescue you out of the deplorable situation. No one is forcing you to come to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Brotherhood embodies the heavens, the earth, and all that is therein. Therefore, it sounds foolish for someone to say, I am not Brotherhood. How then came your how then came about your existence? And who created you? As the scripture says, not all the children of Abraham are begotten of Abraham, and not all the children of Israel are Israelites, except those that keep the commandments of God. This is so because even though the whole creation is brotherhood, yet there are true brotherhood who will inherit the kingdom of God. The tribulation you witness each day is as a result of your disobedience and your call to his service is for your salvation. This is why our Lord Jesus Christ said that unless you are born of water and of the Spirit in baptism, you cannot become a child of God. The question is, how many are really baptized of the Holy Spirit in fulfillment of the Jewish laws, Christ was taken to the temple to be blessed by the priest. But when he was of age, when he should start his ministry, and in order that he might receive full power from the Father, he subjected himself to be baptized by an ordinary person, John the Baptist. This action was according to the laid down principles, but due to the so-called civilization of this world, the actual baptism by immersion has been completely ignored. People now prefer the sprinkling of water on their foreheads, which perhaps is to prevent their dresses from getting soaked. But such form of baptism is not recognized by God. Unless you do a full confession and immersed into the water and buried, signifying the three days in which our Lord Jesus Christ remained in the heart of the earth, your baptism is not accepted by God. If you walk according to the laws of God, you will surely have no difficulties. Many people complain that brotherhood do not weep nor, nor bury the dead. This is so because we go according to the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was from the dead and so became a living spirit in human form. He walked along with his disciples on their way to Emmaus. Yet they did not know him. Now, let us examine this illustration. If you plant yam tuber and the object buried inside the ground does not germinate, it cannot bring forth any yam. This is why I tell you that the dead are here among us nowadays and God alone knows his own children. The day of revelation which is conceived in the womb of time in the womb of time is only known to God. The Lord Jesus Christ was born as human 
and lived for 29 years working among the people, but nobody knew him. They were still expecting that the long-expected Messiah would come down from heaven. This could be seen when the Lord demanded water from the Samaritan woman and when she made reference to when the Messiah should come, Christ told her, I am he that you are talking about. There and then her eyes were opened and she confessed and became converted. Now listen to the golden text again. Golden text. Matthew chapter 16 verse 21 From that time forth Jesus began to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. We, he is the same forever. Were these words not fulfilled in our Lord Jesus Christ? And have you not experienced this today? It is written that he would be raised on the third day and it came to fulfillment. The heathens conclude that the time of Christ had elapsed simply because he was crucified and buried? How do you examine that yourself? Note that the children of God know the truth, since the Father himself is truth. As he as the elect, they are bound to endure tribulations and sufferings with the hope that he that the same God had raised Christ up will also raise up those who trust in him. You should therefore console yourself with the living promise of the Lord when you are undergoing the torture of life on earth. But it is common that you always fear to face these things. How then? Do you deserve the kingdom and the glory along with those designed for them? Your faith, your hope and boast should be that the same peace and grace obtained by the early believers will certainly come to you unfailingly. If Christ were not crucified, how would we gain our salvation? How could the eternal life that comes with the resurrection be achieved? Whoever suffers tribulation has been separated from sin. And you should note that if Christ did not undergo sin, he could not have been raised from the dead. Once you are able to follow this good example you are placed in glory with god to eternity man is always afraid of death if he foresees that he would die through sickness or charm he runs elter skelter seeking refuge through medical doctors juju priests witch doctors and occultists Christ promised his disciples, saying, I will go and prepare a place for you. And after that, I shall come back and take you unto myself, so that you might be with me in glory. If any person asks you any question that touches your faithfulness, in the brotherhood of the cross and the star, give such a fellow the correct answer which our Lord Jesus Christ gave to Philip. Philip asked, Lord, 
show us the Father and that is sufficient for us. In reply, our Lord Jesus Christ said, Have I been with you for so long, Philip, and you do not know me? I am in the Father, and the Father is also in me. Brethren, those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.